Hey, how's it going everyone? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have a set of four classic toys released by Hardy's back in 1997. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. First up in the set is Mr. Potato Head, a true old school classic. And here's a collectible card of Mr. Potato Head. Right there it reads classic toys. And on the back it reads, he started as a set of plastic eyes, ears, mouths, mustaches, and hats. You supplied the potato. Today, the Mr. Potato Head figure is a true American icon. Since his birth in Rhode Island in 1952, over 50 million Mr. Potato Heads have been enjoyed by kids around the world. Now, Mr. Potato Head has become more popular than ever, securing his place as the big potato among toys. Very cool information. And of course, here is a little sheet of instructions, but we all know how to play with Mr. Potato Head. So here he is right here, and his ears do not come out. They're kind of fixed in there. So we'll start with his little face and nose and everything. We'll plug that in right here. There we go. So you can see his mustache and whatnot. And he got a second look, so we could either go with this one or this one. Let's, let's switch it out. Let's just see what he looks like with the other face. There we go. <laughs> He's got the big white teeth. And of course we have his little feet. So we'll place the feet on here and you can slide that around, make it look like he's leaning or leaning back, have him straight up like that. And then he has a little baseball hat, which we can plug on. And there we go. Turn it a little sideways there. And there is Mr. Potato Head. I love it. This is great. And next we have the Tonka truck. So let's open this bag and pull out the little Tonka truck. And it looks like he has a little collectible card as well. This is so cool. I had one of these when I was a kid. Oh, let's see, what does it read? The Tonka name is, a fami is as familiar to Americans as baseball and apple pie. Since 1947, when the first vehicle rolled off the assembly line, Tonka trucks have provided imaginative, hands-on fun for millions of kids. Generations of fans have put Tonka trucks through the toughest road tests imaginable in backyards and playgrounds from Maine to California and all around the world. After 50 years of rough and tough play, Tonka is one of the most popular brands of toy trucks in the world. That's right. I even had one of these guys, but it was so much bigger. This is just a little tiny sample, almost like a Hot Wheels size. And you can see you can take the truck bed. And it can kind of dump it. So you can put dirt and rocks and stuff. I remember playing with it. It was all metal. And you could throw it down the hill and just sit on it and ride it. The thing was awesome. So, of course, this one's like plastic. But the real one, if you're familiar, that was awesome. And let's see. So the little wheels roll along. Whatnot. This is so cool. It takes me back. Oh, I love it. Next up is the Spyro Graph. And I had one of these, too. Lots of fun. You can make cool designs. So here is the collectible card. And it reads on the back. Spirograph, the classic drawing toy, celebrates its 30th birthday in 1996. So I wonder how old it would be today. Do the math and let me know in the comment section. This exciting toy allows kids to fill quiet time with fun that stirs creative thinking, use of imagination, and endless number of artistic possibilities. To date, more than 28 million Spirograph products have found their way into homes all around the world. The fun design of Spirograph, along with its ease of use, presents kids with a real adventure on paper. Yes, indeed it does. And it shows you some instructions right here on this little sheet of paper. So we all know how to use these, I believe. So you need a piece of paper. So what you would do is you take the Spirograph, place it on the piece of paper, just like this here. And then you grab one of these, place it in, grab a pen or whatever has a point that you can draw with. And then you grab it and put it in the hole and kind of follow it around. Let's see if I can do this. It's been a lot of years. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> we'll try one in the center here. There we go. We'll move it. I'm messing this all up. I'm not a good artist. Let's see. What, what kind of design will we get? So maybe I should slow it down just a little because I keep skipping across. Let's see, what do we get? <laughs> what is that? Okay, so it's some kind of like stringy orb. <laughs> All right, let's try the smaller one and see what we get. Okay, you ready? We'll try this one here. And we'll put it right about here in the center. And let's see what we get. 
We'll hold this down. Ooh, you can see what's happening here. Well, this is cool. Look at that, huh? <laughs> Let's see what we got. And what do we end up with here? Wow, that's actually kind of cool. Looks like a ball of string or something. But again, there's different settings on each one of these. You can place your tip of your pen or pencil in there or whatever you want to use. And look at all the different options. You can make all kinds of, you can overlay them and do different stuff. This is just a complete win. I think I'll be playing with this later. So there you go. It's the Spirograph. And last up in the set is Play-Doh. We all love Play-Doh. I love it. You love it. Everybody loves Play-Doh. So on the back, it reads, squish it, squeeze it, mold it. It's no wonder that everyone loves Play-Doh modeling compound. This classic toy was first created in 1956 at Rainbow Crafts Laboratories in Cincinnati, Ohio. And while sold only in off-white, was an instant hit. In 1957, three new colors, yellow, red, and blue, were added. Its popularity grew, and in 1972, the 500th millionth can of Play-Doh compound was made. The Play-Doh compound's secret formula, still under lock and key today, has encouraged years of creative play and is still shaping imaginations of kids everywhere. This is fabulous. I love Play-Doh. So, let's take a look at a, let's see, 22-year-old can of play-doh <laughs> i haven't looked in here and let's see so this is what play-doh looks like after 20 plus years of sitting what do we have so it's rock hard and it looks like it's cracked and it's crumbling into dust so it's falling apart in there and that's what we got <laughs> so now you know what play-doh looks like after 20 plus years of sitting around it's rock hard <laughs> this is great <laughs> oh i don't think there's any saving that so there you go everyone it's play-doh so there you go everyone hardy's classic toys released all the way back in 1997 now this this is wonderful this takes me back to my childhood and all the wonderful memories i had especially with the talking truck and all the hours i'd spend with my sisters playing with the spirograph and who never played with a, a Mr. Potato Head? He's the best, and we all love Play-Doh. That's, that's just an automatic win right there. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. We'll see you again next time.